First up right now at 11, an all out manhunt for a father accused of killing his baby daughter. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Sinney. And hi everyone, I'm Erin Connolly. This is a story we have been following since it broke on Friday. And today police revealed Christopher Francis Queenie stabbed and choked the 11 month old baby. The FBI is now involved in what could turn into a multi-state hunt. Also tonight, a $10,000 reward is now being offered for information leading to an arrest. Channel 3's Dennis Valera is joining us live right now at Naugatuck PD with some exclusive analysis on the case. Dennis. Mark and Aaron, it first just started with Nagatuck police, but now state, local, federal agencies all banding together to find this man. So we checked in with our law enforcement expert to go over the logistics for a manhunt. He says there is a lot in place to keep all law enforcement connected to hopefully find Francis Queenie fast. A couple stuffed animals and flowers now sit at the base of a telephone pole outside of the Francis Queenie home. The death of 11 month old Camilla is still hard to accept. This is something that is, it, it tears at the very fabric of our community, losing somebody so young who hasn't even had an opportunity to start their life yet. Police say Christopher Francis Queenie killed Camilla Friday morning. Since then, a multi-agency search began to comb through Connecticut to find and arrest him. Our law enforcement analyst, retired state police lieutenant Paul Vance, says when these kinds of manhunts are initiated, agencies far and wide are immediately informed, keeping everyone on the same page and ready to make an arrest when necessary. There's a great communication system, not just between local and state police, but all police departments statewide, all surrounding state police departments and local police departments, and even a nationwide broadcast can be given out to law enforcement all across the country. Francis Queenie was spotted in New Haven Friday, surveillance cameras catching him at Quinnipiac Street. His car also found near the city that day, thanks to tips from the public. Those tips are critical. Vance says they help steer police in the right direction. Francis Queenie did have a GPS monitoring device due to being out on parole, but police say he cut it off Friday morning after having a fight with Camilla's mother. Chief McAllister did not say if they had any leads to his exact whereabouts, but says they're doing what they can to catch him. We will not rest until we take you into custody. We will be putting forward every effort to locate and apprehend this suspect and bring him to justice. Again, anyone with information to where Francis Queenie could be could get up to $10,000 from the FBI. Also another reminder, Francis Queenie is considered armed and dangerous. We cannot say that enough. So if you do see him, please just call police immediately and do not approach him. We're live in Nagatuck, Dennis Valera, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. All right, Dennis.